Hello everyone, this is Anita White with Love Your Art and we're back with another video guys. Happy to have you join me. Thank you so much. If you're a new subscriber, we certainly welcome you and appreciate you being here. And each and every time we have another video upload, you want to be notified. So go ahead and hit that notification bell. That way we can make you informed each and every time there's a new video. Guys, we have a 10 by 20 inch gallery wrap canvas and we're going to do a Dutch pour. I've already started by laying out some of the Blit Acrylic Titanium White. And again, all of our paints, base color and layering colors are mixed with two parts Floetrol, one part paint, water added to get to the desired consistency. So our job now is to just blow this out and get it all nice and level so we can have a flawless foundation to begin with. Let's do it. today is we're using leftover paints. I've been transitioning from my squeeze bottles to the Loli Vefi squeeze bottle um, that does not have a separate lid. It just has a twist top and I find that to be more convenient and I'm going to be using leftover paints from my old squeeze bottles that actually have the red separate um, uh, tip on them. So we'll see what we can come up with by way of a Dutch pour using old paint. Yeah. We have our foundational paint down and I think everything is pretty covered. Check out all our sides and the edges and making sure we have a smooth and flawless foundation to begin with. Okay, so let's pop air bubbles. stubborn one right here in the middle. Okay. Get everything nice and level. And we're be, we'll be good to go. All right. Looking around and seeing what we might have. Need to pop in some air bubbles here. They are good at hiding, so you have to kind of really look all the way around. Let's see if I can put some more paint here. Okay, we're good. Let's go ahead and introduce our colors to the canvas. I'm going to remove these gloves now. We have the Liquitex Basics Cobalt Blue Hue, Artist Loft Metallic Purple, Rombacher Academy Phthalo Blue, I only have a little bit of that, Amsterdam Like Gold, uh, Artist Loft Metallic Blue, a little bit of that. Artist Loft Violet 
and the Liquitex Basics Brilliant Blue. And I think that's what we, oh, we are gonna use the Artist Loft Thalo Blue. We have to work with what we have, guys, so let's see what we can do here. These are old paints and they are hopefully good enough to still use. Ooh. We don't shake them all over the place. Okay, let's start with the cobalt blue. And I'm going to try to do a squiggly line like so out to that edge. And we'll follow through. See, the one thing about having these red tops, their squeeze bottles are wonderful. I like that. But you have to keep up with the little red top, which is not always easy to do. Okay. That's violet. Actually, it's metallic purple. This is phthalo blue. Again, I'm hoping that we have enough of these paints to, we're trying to eliminate them so we don't have the same amount in each one. This one is almost out. So I'm going back around, try to get it all out. Then we'll try going with this Amsterdam light gold, beautiful color. We'll try the metallic blue, which we really, really are low on metallic blue, so we hope we can get around. I love this color. Let's see if we can come back around. Yeah, it's just about gone. What we want, we want it gone. Okay, that's good enough. And then we will have our violet now. Pretty color as well. Brilliant blue. And very little bit of it. One little metallic blue. We already used it. Okay, that's it. That's all the colors that we had. Popping these air bubbles. And at the same time, I'm thinking I'm going to try to come back with our first color, which was the phthalo blue. Let's see if we can put more blue back in there. Wrap back around that. I'm hopeful that we have enough of the gold to get lacing. Okay, we have our blow dryer here and we're going to try to pull this into coming out here, going there, here, there, here, there. We'll see. little spots that splattered but this is beautiful yes it is and we're going to take our little spatulas makeup spatulas Hannah brand spatulas purchased from the Amazon they work beautifully 
with wiping underneath your canvas, you can avoid using popsicle sticks because these are reusable. They wash up nicely and um, they reach up under your canvas nicely to get all the residue and excess paint wiped away. So, highly recommend them. This is selling up as we speak and I am going to pop a couple of air bubbles here. It's going to bring out some of those cells even more, but it's really pretty. Very pretty. Hints of gold came through just nicely. Not too much. Um, wrapping back around with the blue really made for much more blue to stand out. And the purple and violet to be highlighted throughout. Cells are all in here. Let's take a look close up, bring you in. All right, guys, we have our close up now. And you can see we've got some beautiful shimmer and shine from our metallic blue in here, as well as the Amsterdam light gold. So pretty. Look at the shimmer and shine throughout. Lacing is here. There's some incredible cells. Lovely, lovely, rich color. The metallic blues and all those blues combined with the purple and the violet. It was a purple metallic as well, that's right. So those colors coming together nicely have made for this rich, beautiful design that you're seeing here. And hopefully we can give you a nice view of that shine and shimmer. So, so pretty there. Look at those beautiful cells. Lovely, lovely piece. Love, love, love the lacing here and the cells that are with it and the shimmer and shine. It's going to look spectacular with a coat of resin. Once it is dried, we will put a coat of resin on this and let it sparkle and shine and show itself because those colors are speaking loud and clear all by themselves. Not a lot that we have to say about this. We'll look over here to my left. You can see this beautiful set of cells here, how that they are shining and sparkling as well. Along with the upper part, there's more cells and lacing here. Super pretty. Very pleased with this. Leftover paints, guys. Here's what you can do if you want to get rid of your leftover paints. Put them all together. We'll try to mix them nicely, of course, but put them all together and pull them into a nice design. This is a 10 by 20 inch Dutch pour. Super pleased with it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Again, keep loving your art. Until next time, we'll see you guys on our next video upload. If you haven't done so, like and subscribe. We always need to have more of you with us. So please join us. We appreciate so much you stopping in. And also, thank you so much for being a long-term viewer. If you've been here with me for a while, you know you're super, super appreciated. Until next time, keep loving your art, guys. We'll see you then. Bye.